This is a sample from our training at itdvds.com. If you'd like to learn more, please go to itdvds.com. Okay, I'm on one of my domain controllers, and I've determined that DFSR replication is a problem because my group policy objects aren't replicating to all of my domain controllers. And one of the ways I figured that out was, one, a lot of things were broken, and I went to DFS management, expand this out, we can go to replication, right-click on my domain system volume, create diagnostic report, and I can do a health report. Let's go ahead and click next, next, next again, next again. Go ahead and create the report. And we could run this remotely as well. And I can see I got a couple of warnings here. We can expand it out and let me know that, okay, this member is waiting for initial replication for replicated folder sysvol share and is not currently participating in replication. Also, if I go to my sysvol folder, on one of my domain controllers there it is go to my domain policies I can see I have a policy here that was made on 819 and if I go over to the same place on DC 02 it should be replicated there but it's not so DC 01 is up to date so I'm going to use that as my authoritative server to do an authoritative synchronization that basically means okay DC02 you get everything from DC01 because that's got all the updated information and then continue synchronization after that so we're going to need to use ADSI edit in order to uh, fix this problem here and in order to use it we can launch it from our MMC here I'll just type in MMC and go to file add remove snap in and there's ADSI edit if we don't see it there then we're going to want to do a run and type in reg svr32 space adsi edit dot dll. Click OK. That will go ahead and register that dll and then it will show up when we go to run mmc and then add remove snap in. We could potentially also go to tools and click on adsi edit. So if we don't have our default naming context open, I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Click yes. We can right click on adsi edit, connect to and connect to the default naming context. Click OK. Let's go ahead and expand it out. Expand out our domain. Now before we do this, it's always a good idea to back things up. So you know, make sure the domain controllers are backed up. Make sure uh, everything in your sysvol folder on all your domain controllers is backed up to different locations so that if for some reason something was on uh, DC02, which is my non-authoritative domain controller, that wasn't on DC01, which is what we're making authoritative, well, then that's going to be lost unless I back it up. So I want to back it up, copy it off somewhere. And we're going to go to Domain Controllers, and we're going to go to the one that we want to make authoritative. So that's the one that's up to date. DC01, DFSR Local Settings, Domain System Volume, and Sysvol Subscription. I'll just go ahead and double-click on that. And let's go ahead and scroll down on our attributes here. And we're going to go to MSDFSR enabled. We're going to change that to false. And go down a bit. MSDFSR options. Double click on that. Let's change that to 1. Click OK. Now we're going to, go to want to go back up to domain controllers. And on all of our other domain controllers, I just have one other one, we're going to want to go to the same place. Double click and we'll just scroll down a bit. And for DFSR enabled, we're going to change this to false. Next, we're going to want to force Active Directory replication. So I'm on a domain controller here. And we're going to run the rep admin space slash sync all space slash ADEP. And I'll go ahead and replicate everything. We want to make sure uh, everything terminated with no errors. Everything looks good. Okay, now on all my domain controllers, I'm going to stop the DFSR service, so I'll go ahead and stop it on this domain controller, and i got to type it in right, stop dash service DFSR, and I'll enter a PS session into my other domain controllers, DC02, and I'll run the same command. I'll go ahead and exit out. So now I'm back on DC01, which is my authoritative domain controller. And I'm going to start the service back up. 
And if we look in at our event viewer, we should see an event 4114 here. It let us know that sysvol replication is not happening right now. Now let's go over to ADSI edit again. And we're going to go back to the domain controller that should be authoritative. Go to our sysvol subscription and scroll down and DFSR enabled. Now we're going to set that back to true. We're going to force Active Directory replication again with the rep admin sync all ADEP. Now I'm on the server that's authoritative here, DC01. I'm going to run DFSR diag space slash pull AD. And now in event viewer, we should see an event 4602. It says this member is designated a primary member. Now we're going to start the DFSR service on our other domain controllers. So I'm going to enter a PS session here into DC02, my other domain controller, and any other domain controllers we'd want to do that. So go ahead and start service DFSR. Now we're going to go back to ADSI edit here. And for our other domain controllers, so in my case DC02, we're going to go back and go to our DFSR enabled and set that to true. And on our other domain controllers, so you can see I've got a PS session into DC02 here, we're going to run DFSR Diag Pole AD. And that's it. We may want to give it a little time to replicate, but we should be able to see, okay, great, DC02 here. It has that group policy object that wasn't replicated, and it's the exact same as what DC01 was. So replication is now back up and working. And if we want, we can go back up to our tools here. Let's go to DFS management. Right click on our domain name system here, create diagnostic report. And we'll just run a report again, make sure everything looks good. And now we don't have any errors anymore or any more warnings.